Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about can you use body sunscreen on your face? Is it safe? So companies these days are creating a lot of different facial sunscreens for dry skin, for oily skin, for acne prone skin, anti-aging facial sunscreens, etc. So that creates a lot of confusion and people are left thinking that they can only use a facial sunscreen on their face. But is that really true? Is it really like that? Let's find out. Okay, so first of all, if you have a specific skin concern that you're treating and you need certain ingredients in your face sunscreen to keep things at bay, then of course, by all means, go for that separate facial sunscreen that is helping your skin. But if that's not the case, if you're just using separated facial sunscreen because you think everybody's doing it and that's the only way you can go around this, then hold your wallet. Most of the ingredients and UV filters that are used in body sunscreens are actually similar or oftentimes the same as the ones that are used in the facial sunscreens. That means that it is perfectly safe for you to apply the body sunscreen on your face as well. And plus you get four times more of the product if you use it on your face only. And that's usually for the same price. As a matter of fact, there are even sunscreens that are meant to be used on the face and on the body at the same time. You just have to pay a little bit more attention when shopping for one. one example of such sunscreen would be La Roche-Posay and Paleos Invisible Spray. Now this is my favorite facial sunscreen. Now you heard that right, yes, I use it only as my face sunscreen. I buy it for $24 and I use it all year round because it comes in a packaging of 200 milliliters so I have plenty of product to use throughout the whole year. Now here's a little price comparison. This is the La Roche-Posay Shaka Fluid Facial Sunscreen that comes in the packaging of 50 milliliters. And this one retails for 20 bucks. And then you have the La Roche-Posay Invisible Spray that comes in the packaging of 200 milliliters. And this one retails for $24. So it's $4 difference and you get four times more product in this face and body version. And by the way, they have same UVA and UVB protections. I know, I compared them. Them. So they both have SPF 50 and PA quadruple plus for UVA protection. Now being the perfectionist that I am, I have to emphasize a few cons when it comes to using a body sunscreen on your face. Con number one would be that some body sunscreens have some comedogenic ingredients that won't normally cause breakouts on your body, but they might cause them on your face. An example of such sunscreen would be this La Roche-Posay Antelius SPF 30 Hydrating Lotion. Now this one is only meant to be used on the body. And that is why, because it does have some comedogenic ingredients that might cause breakouts on your face. Now, you can avoid this problem by just searching for sunscreens that are meant to be used on the body and on the face, just like Invisible Spray is. Or you can risk it, as I did. I just bought this one and I have been using it on my face for months now and I have absolutely no problems with it. But I do have to emphasize that I have dry skin and I'm not acne prone or prone to clogged pores or anything like that so I don't mind that this one has a couple of comedogenic ingredients but that's the thing to keep in mind when searching for a sunscreen if you know that you're prone to breaking out just search for a sunscreen that is meant for body and face if not you can you can maybe risk it like I did and try this one out okay now con number two body sunscreens can contain some UV filters that are irritating to the eye area so I never use body sunscreen around my eye area because I do have sensitive under eye skin. So if you're like me, if you have sensitive eye area and you don't want to put anything there that will irritate your skin, then I suggest that you get a separated eye sunscreen. So my favorite eye sunscreen is the one that I already mentioned and that is the La Roche-Posay Antelius SPF 50 Shaka Fluid. Now this one is meant to be used on the face and around the eye area. So it's perfectly safe to be applied around the eye area and it does not irritate or sting or anything. So I buy this one just to use it as my eye sunscreen. <laughs> and this one retails, as I said, for $20 and it comes in the packaging of 50 milliliters. Now, if you buy it to use it on your face, you will probably spend it in three weeks if you apply it correctly. So if you get this one just to use it around your eye area, then you will use it for a long time. And another good thing about this one is that this one has a period after opening 12 months. Period after opening means that you can use this sunscreen for another 12 months after first 
opening it so it won't expire for another 12 months so that means for $20 you get 50 milliliters of eye sunscreen and you have a whole year to use it up so I say that is really long if you take into consideration the fact that most eye creams have a period after opening only six months I say it's a bargain so hopefully by now I have convinced you to buy the body sunscreen and use it on your face and stay protected from the sun without breaking the bank either. Also, if you want to see the sensor characteristics of these two, you can watch this video right here in which I compare them. And if you would like to see the sensor characteristics of this one, you can watch this video right here. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye!